everyone good morning welcome back to today's vlog i'm actually home with ollie it's friday i feel like i've been off the last couple of fridays over some weird stuff so he's actually out of daycare because they had an outbreak of hand foot and mouth which is so weird because i'm seeing multiple youtubers saying that's the same thing um but two kids are infected and then there's a possible third one so they have to close down and sanitize the entire area he's in a room full of like seven or eight kids and then there's another room for like preschoolers from three to five year olds and they have like maybe 10 in there along with three babies in a different room so they had to close down the entire place because there's too many kids and it's contagious, highly contagious. Um, Ollie's room is the room that had the infected kids, so now I'm worried that Ollie had possibly got it. Um, he does put his hands in his mouth a lot because he no longer has his binky. So he's sitting here singing a song. He's watching like an ABC video on YouTube. There's a lot of educational videos that I allow him to watch through YouTube, which... He really loves, he can count to 10, he sings the alphabet, they have like a potty one that he really likes and he puts that on repeat about like going on the potty, pooping on the potty, washing his hands, brushing his teeth, stuff like that. So this is helping. Um, so we're gonna do this real quick while I film, but we're gonna try and find something to do. It's actually raining out and it's really gross, but anyway, back to what I was saying before he interrupted. He does have like a little mark on his lip. I can't tell if it's just. <laughs> I can't tell if it's just like a little cut or it's starting to form into a blister. He hasn't had a fever or anything. He's not like uncomfortable. Yesterday and the day before, he's been eating like nonstop. Hey, excuse me, I'm talking. So I'm like monitoring him pretty well because i'm nervous that he's gonna get it he's like prone to getting sick he's always sick um so i've been watching that very very closely he has been eating and the first signs to this is fevers not eating stuff like that so he did eat yesterday but this morning he didn't eat his breakfast but that's like normal for him but he ate lunch and dinner yesterday and the dinner the night before as well so um <laughs> and he seems normal he does seem a little clingy to be honest but i've been t checking his temperature every couple of hours to make sure that he's not running a fever but anyways uh it's raining so i can't really take him outside i was gonna take him out before his nap to try to get some energy out but it's like pouring raining already and that's a no-go I do have to go shopping and do things, but I'm gonna do that when Anthony gets home. It's Friday, it's his early day. He should be home around Ollie's nap or like right after. So I'm going to just not go with Ollie just in case he does have hand, foot, and mouth. I don't wanna spread that to anybody. Um, but yeah, we're just, I, I'm i probably gonna sanitize the crap out of my house this weekend and just, try to not have this because i don't want to one miss a bunch of work and two i don't want him sick like i i hate when he's sick he's just horrible when he's sick um because it's like non-stop it'll be hand foot and mouth but it'll also be him getting the banky him not eating him freaking out all night and not sleeping so it'll be like a regression pretty much and I don't want to go backwards. I want to keep moving forwards. I want to keep moving forward. So, yeah, I'm just hanging out with him. See right there, there's like a little dot. I can't tell what it is, but it's already like crusting. So, excuse me. But he's already sticking his hands in his mouth. He's not happy with the fact that he can't have his B-I-N-K-I-E. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and these are his new joggers. I'll go upstairs and show you guys his new clothes that I bought from Old Navy. Not even 30 minutes later from what I just filmed, he has a 101.7 fever and that blister, it's actually a blister. So I'm pretty sure it is hand, foot, and mouth, which we're not really happy about. He's got like a little blister right on his lip. Um, it looked like a little cut and now it's like, 
pussing. It's a huge, like, it's not huge, but it's a blister. Um, it's pussing out, which means it's probably gonna spread, which I'm kind of freaking out about. Um, he does have a fever, like I said, 101.7, and it came within 30 minutes. Like, I just checked him at breakfast. He didn't have any fever. He was totally fine. And that was like barely there and now it's like really there. He's like busted it open completely. And he keeps putting his hands in his mouth. I don't want to give him his pacifier because he'll just never get rid of it if we give it to him for the next week. So I did Google it and it pretty much said like there's nothing they could do. Um, they, It's pretty much just like Tylenol for pain relief and stuff like that. If it gets really bad then... I don't know. I'll have to take him to the hospital. But the only thing I could do is like pretty much keep him comfortable. <laughs> Every time I stand up to film, he's just like all over me. And that's <laughs> what I mentioned this morning when he's sick, he's just clinging. I can't even get up to like go to the bathroom without him freaking out. So I'm just trying to keep him occupied with the the tablet so I can film real quick. But even that's not even keeping him away from me. <laughs> so like I said, like his that that has to be crusted for him to go back to school which means i could possibly be out for like a week before and even if he gets over he could possibly catch it again if we don't sanitize correctly or one of us catch it and give it back to him it's an ongoing thing so like hopefully we can get rid of this pretty quickly um i might have to call out a couple days next week so yeah i'm really enjoying this <laughs> it's like covid but not as bad, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're dealing with now. Uh, I will say that like when Lily first started going to school when she was like three, because they have like preschool three around here, pre pre K three. She got strep throat three times in a row, and I thought it was her tonsils because that's what happened to me when I had to get my tonsils out. I had like constant strep throat. But it was from like the dirty kids at school, like not washing their hands, not sanitizing, stuff like that. So she got strep throat constantly and I was already aware that that might happen with Ollie, but like it's even worse with like toddlers, like dirty little toddlers that don't wash their hands, don't like stop putting their hands in their mouth, like they're gross. So like I didn't expect it to constantly keep happening because Ollie has already been sick twice from this daycare and he's only been there for three months and now he's got hand, foot, and mouth. So yeah, if you're trying to put your kids into daycare, be prepared that they're constantly gonna be sick from other kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, I is daycare actually worth it if I'm out constantly just for sick kids? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at this point. So if he's out all next week, I'm gonna be really mad. Um, one, because I have to keep paying for the weeks and two, I'm mad because I have to miss an entire week of work. Um, I have to like accumulate my time to take off. And thankfully I was off all this year so I can accumulate my time back from when I had Oliver because I still wasn't gaining my time back fast enough that I was using it because you know, doctor's appointments, having children, you just have to take these off for things. So. Thankfully, I was off all last year, so I have some time accumulated to take off for these things. But I feel the parents who don't have time to spare to take off for like small sicknesses like this. Well, it's not small, it's a freaking disease. Um, but I feel you parents because the struggle is real. It's almost 11 o'clock. Uh, Anthony's not done work yet. I've been like keeping him updated. I'm trying to pick him up before. Ollie goes down for a nap, but it doesn't even seem like Ollie's gonna last until 12.30. He's like falling asleep on the couch watching TV. And he's kind of been like that since like nine-ish. He's just been like clinging to me and just laying on top of me. And his eyes are super droopy. He seems really tired. Um, I just checked him. He has like a 103 temperature. Like it's super high. And of course it's Friday and my doctor's office are closed until Monday. I have a horrible doctor's office. Um, so I don't know if I should take him to like urgent care or I don't know because like I read that if his temperature gets to like 103 that I should go and see the doctor. So I'm kind of like freaking out. I don't know if I should head over there and I don't even know what they can do for him 
other than give him Tylenol, which I've already given him. So I don't, I don't know. He's not eating anything. He refuses to drink stuff. Um, I've been trying to give him water or even just his milk. He just will not drink it. So I'm also worried about him being dehydrated. So I think I might go out and get like Pedialyte or something or try to give him Gatorade to keep up like with the hydration. I threw some like chicken fingers in the air fryer. Um, so hopefully he'll eat that with me. I'm gonna sit on the couch and try to eat it with him. But he's just like not having it. He doesn't wanna eat, he doesn't wanna do anything. And I'm really sad for him. And I'm trying to keep him comfortable. Uh, but he seems like he wants to get up and do stuff, but he just can't, he's like really tired. I feel so bad. Um, and it sucks, but we're gonna get through this. I actually already told my boss that he has it, so I'll be out until at least Wednesday. I don't know if it'll go further than that because it's saying the symptoms could last between three to seven days. Um, as soon as his fever and his blisters um, crust over, I'll be able to go back to work. Uh, but for right now, I have no clue how long this is gonna last. And the he could be contagious even after like the symptoms are over. So I don't even know if like the daycare will take him back. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so hopefully, Everything starts to settle down by next week. But as of right now, I'm off till Wednesday. Right after that little clip that I put in, um, he actually crawled up next to me and just fell asleep on my chest, like right after that. So he has been asleep since then. When I took him upstairs, he kind of woke up a little bit when I put him in the crib. He's kind of heavy and it's really hard to put him in there without moving him around. So he's now in his crib and he's been dead asleep since I put him in there. Um, and it's, it's one o'clock. So I'm just gonna let him sleep until he's ready to get up because I'm not gonna force any of this. He's sick, he's tired, just let it run its course. Let him sleep as long as he wants. There's no waking him up. I kind of feel like I should fuel up for like the night because he's probably going to be up like a good amount of the night. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a rough night. I could just tell. Uh, Anthony is done work. He's fueling up the truck and then he'll be home. Um, I do have to go to Target because we need food. Uh, so I definitely have to take a trip out of the house. But now I'm just like, should I go? <laughs> Should I just make Anthony do it? I don't really want to leave him. I know he's in good hands with Anthony, but like I just don't like leaving him when he's like this. And I don't know, I'm just like, I'm still sad. I'm just so sad for him. He looks horrible. He looks so tired. His eyes are just like glossy and sad. He just looks so sad. So there he is, sleeping. He's dead asleep. I have the air on, so if you can hear that in the background, but I also have his air on, so it's nice and cool in there. Um, he was like wrapped up in a blanket for a while, but he took it off, so. I also took some time to sanitize anything that he has touched or I have touched, and I'm trying to like constantly wash my hands after touching him, not because He's dirty or anything, but because he's sick and if I like eat after touching him, I don't know, I'm just like nervous about spreading this to everybody. So I'm trying to like stay as, I'm just trying to keep this on the low. Like I don't want everybody like getting it and getting sick. So after I touch him, I wash my hands and I sanitize the area uh with lysol i don't know what else to think of to do when it comes to like furniture so i'm just spraying lysol literally everywhere which is nice <laughs> uh but yeah i'm just waiting for anthony to come home like i said he's fueling up and then i'll probably be home and then i'm probably gonna head to target if ollie's still sleeping i don't know well he's not planning to vlog today or even be off today and on top of that, I was not planning for my child to be sick, so I apologize for these weird vlogs. It's been a very weird couple of weeks of me being home. 
like I said earlier, it's like really random days. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully we can get back to like our normal, normal schedule. Uh, I'm trying to like go back to the gym on a happier note. <laughs> um, I've gone to the gym every single day this week except for today at my lunch period. So during my lunch, I've been going to the gym for a full hour and then I go back to work. <laughs> Uh, I'm mostly doing cardio so I can lose some weight, uh, but I am doing like weightlifting as well for like my legs, my abs, shoulders, chest, stuff like that. So I've been doing that along with it, but it's only like a 20 minute thing. But I'm also doing like lower weights, higher reps type of thing. So it'll tone and work on like fat burning. So. That's on a happy note. Uh, if you would like to see like an updated like me working with that in there, or like uh, I don't know, if you would like to see any type of videos, let me know in the comments. I'm working on Instagram and TikTok content. I just want a week's worth of stuff before I put it up. So yeah, I'm trying to like work on that as well, which I'm not doing a very good job at because it's really hard to get pictures of the kids when Lily's only here every other week. So I need to like, make sure I have enough pictures of Lily to spread around for a month <laughs> instead of just taking and posting. Like I want it to look good and same thing with TikTok. I'm trying to figure that out. I ordered a new ring light along with a new tripod that's smaller. So I, I broke my la my other small one. So I ordered those and they should be here by tomorrow or Sunday. So hopefully I can work on my TikTok stuff. And yeah, I uh, bought more clothes for Ollie from Old Navy, but I'll get to that in another video maybe because I'm waiting for like an H&M order. So I'll show that all together. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna like get my stuff together for when Anthony gets here. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are So I went to food shopping like you guys see and I did a little at store like grocery haul. I actually filmed. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself. But I was able to go by myself so I was able to do that. So when I have the kids it's really hard to do that. But um, we're actually picking up Lily in an hour. Anthony's home. These guys already know that. Um, Anthony's on stage with Ollie and they're like watching TV and stuff really loud so I can't really film down there. Um, I just threw everything in the fridge or wherever I had to go. I didn't make a big fuss about it. I just kind of just put it away. Um, and then I went on to Target's website and ordered some clothes for pictures because I really want to get some pictures out of the way. Maybe some fall pictures. Something because I feel like we don't have any good pictures of any of us. And the last time the kids got professional pictures done where for Christmas when Ollie was first born, I think he was like a year old. Yeah, and that was it. That's the last time the kids got pictures done. I need to get them done. I'm gonna schedule an appointment with a photographer and just get this going. So hopefully I can like get some pictures around the house, get some of the kids, just have some good pictures. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And hopefully by the end of the week, Ollie is feeling better. So then we can do pictures maybe Friday. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, we ordered pizza or a, sh a stromboli and french fries for dinner because I'm not cooking after spending all morning with a sick baby. He's not even eating. He drank a little bit of milk, but that's it. He slept until almost three o'clock. Um, I didn't go to at home or even across the bridge to Jersey because the traffic is horrible right now. I forgot that it's like a Friday and everybody is picking their kids up from school or coming home from work or stuff like that. So it was kind of like really busy out and just going to Target and coming back home took over an hour and like 20 minutes. 
so I just was like whatever I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna hang out with the kids when Lily comes and I don't know what tonight's gonna bring but I already edited half of this video so I'm already like ahead of myself <laughs> but I'm probably just gonna like edit and fold some laundry or do some mom stuff tonight uh, I'm actually putting Ollie to sleep so I'll film that as well but it's gonna be a very lazy day. ABC. 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 Okay. It's almost six o'clock now. I'm actually going to give him a bath around six thirty, but we're waiting to give him his, his medicine and so closer to when he has to go to sleep. But he is just laying here since he got up. He hasn't gotten up to do anything but lay here um but move from one parent to the next also i've been like feeding him his like pedialyte through one of those needles for the medicine because hi. he just refuses to hi. eat anything hi 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 can you say the abc's Can you sing the song? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. What's W stand for? It's for walrus. Yes. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are gone. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. I just got Ollie down. He actually went down pretty quickly. Uh, by the time we got him dressed and out of the bathtub, it was already like 6.50 or yeah. So he pretty much just went down within five minutes. He just wanted to go in his crib. So he's already like pretty much asleep up there. Uh, but Anthony and I are just gonna relax. I'm gonna do some YouTube stuff and he's gonna watch TV. Lily's upstairs doing whatever Lily does. Uh, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.